So another real common pattern that you see in 6-8 would be to add an extra up strum after the two and after the five, after the second and fifth beat. So again, if I just did straight six, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, all with down strums, if I add a quick up strum right after the second and fifth beat, it'll sound like this. One, two, and three, four, five, and six. One, two, and three, four, five, and six. One, two, and three, four, five, and six. Two, and three, four, five, and six. So if we, let's try something new. Now let's try just strumming uh, the same strumming pattern, but we're going to switch the chords every three eighth notes rather than six. So instead of one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, five, six, four, five, six, we're going to strum every three eighth notes, or actually switch rather, every three eighth notes. So it'll sound like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And if some of that sounds familiar to you, it's probably because there's been literally dozens or maybe hundreds of songs written around those same strumming patterns with those same three chords. They're so common. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, again, I want to stress the fact that the most important thing in, in all of music is solid rhythm, regardless of how flashy or not flashy you play. A solid rhythm is really the key to success with almost everything in music. Hello, I'm Kim Ritchie, and we're going to put all the parts together. And uh, this is Believe Me Baby, I Lied. That I could use your trust in me If there ever was a reason It's going to start, start with a G, but I play this note as well on the B string. So you would start out. Love me anyhow.